Good morning students. In the last video we have discussed about the properties of Beatrice. For better understanding we have taken one small example and make you understand what are the properties and how to calculate the minimum number of children and minimum number of keys for all the nodes. Okay. Now we will take a small example like in gate these kind of questions usually they will ask so that's why I have taken one example for better understanding. So let, first let me read the question. In a B tree, suppose such key size is 9 bytes. So they have given the, I will discuss about it. The such key size is 9 bytes and the block size they have given is 512 bytes. Record pointer size is 7 bytes. Block pointer size is 6 bytes. Then they are asking us to calculate the order of B trees. So they have given what is the block size. Suppose let's say that this is one node or a one block. So they have given the total size of this block, which is a 512 bytes. And they have given set key size. Set key size means the key value. The key value here, it is the K. So the K value they have given as 9 bytes. And they have given the record pointer is 7 bytes they have given. Meaning is that this RP1 or RP2, which are of 7 byte size. And the block pointer size is 6 bytes. So this BP1, BP2, BP3 value they have given as 6 bytes. So for our understanding I have taken small example. The same example I have discussed when I am discussing about the properties of B3. And finally what they are asking, they are asking us to calculate the order of B3. What is the order of a B3? Is maximum number of children a node can allow, will tell we will say in terms of the order. Okay. So we have to calculate the order of the B tree. So if you see this, the node will have the structure. Okay, block pointer, key record pointer pair, block pointer, key record pointer pair and block point. So like this, if we have the total size is 512 bytes. So the total size is 512. Okay. And let's assume that I am assuming that because I need to calculate the number of children's that's what they are asking. Calculate the order of B3. So in a node, what is the maximum number of children it will allow? That only they are asking. So maximum number of children means this block pointers. So I need to find out how many block pointers it can allow. So let me take that I need to find the block pointers. I will take it as n because I don't know the value. So how many block pointers will be there? n block pointers will be there. That's what we are assuming. And what is the size of one block pointer? One block pointer size is 6 bytes. So let me take it as 6. <coughs> Excuse me. If I have n block pointers, how many key record pointers will be there? Obviously n minus 1. Is it clear? If you take this example, we have 3 block pointers. How many key record pointers are there? 2 record pointers are there. So similarly, if I have n block pointers, I will have n minus 1 key and record pointers will be there. Is it clear? The whole thing will be less than or equal to 512 bytes. Means the whole size of this block will be less than or equal to 512 bytes. So now we will we will substitute the values. Block pointer size is 6 plus n minus 1. What is the key size? The set key size is given as 9 bytes so let me substitute it as 9 and what is the record pointer size is 7 bytes which is less than or equal to 512 okay so I can write it as 6n plus 16n because 9 plus 7 is 16 so 16n minus 16 is less than or equal to 512 so it will be 22n is less than or equal to if I bring this side it will be 528 so n will be less than or equal to 528 by 22 is it clear so it will be almost n value will be 24 okay you can check it okay so the n value is 24 is means what is the n value we have taken the order of the B tree. 
okay so the order of the b3 for this example is 24 i hope you have understood with one example anyway for better understanding i will take similar another question for you and let me explain the another question for your better understanding okay thank you so much